Hey guys, we're at the Hallmark Pop Minded booth. We're here with Christine from Hello. Hallmark. Yes. Now, uh, I think this is my fifth San Diego Comic Con, not all in a row, but okay. my tradition is always to rush to the Hallmark booth and pray, <laughs> hope to toy Jesus that I can get my little Star Wars exclusive teddy bears. <laughs> and this year was no exception. I. You, you're already out, but there's many other days to come. Yes. I, I definitely need... That's what an allotment per day is. All right. Um, we're trying to make it fair for everyone. And and so you allot figures to some people, and yeah. then to the rest you allot sadness. <laughs> <laughs> there is some sadness. But four more days. Four more days, you guys. I'm very yeah. confident. Very confident. <laughs> but uh, the exclusives is, is the... Vintage Boba Fett carded. Yep. yep. Very cool. Yep. I noticed that that vintage Boba Fett, it uses some leather or vinyl or it's, pleather. Yeah, it's like a little vinyl, pleather, fake fake leather, yeah. Okay, and you're putting that so, through a few with, of the figures. Uh, yeah, same thing with, and Han has it on his outfit. Um, so does R2-D2 and Chewbacca, because we already have a furry Chewbacca. So we thought, well, how do we make him different for the vintage action figure and make him vinyl? Denim and leather. It brought <laughs> us all together. <laughs> Bet it was you that set the spirit free. That is a weird <laughs> 70s rock song that just got in my head. Um, but I love, I was here for when you launched the Itty Bitties with the Tuscan Raider. Yeah. And I think, was it a Bantha? A, a Bantha yeah. yeah. And it just, it's weird because I'm such a big Australian loud person. But the little teddy bears <laughs> speak to me. You just speak have to a soft child. inside. I definitely do. <laughs> I definitely do. And I was thrilled. Uh, today you did an interview on StarWars.com. Yeah. And finally prequel itty bitties yes, yes exactly what took so long and is it's it the, a good question is it the 20th anniversary that has got you amped up it really is i mean i think we've talked about it off and on particularly darth maul because i was like he's gonna make a super cute itty bitty mm -hmm. um but after thinking about the fact that it's gonna be 20 years i mean there was just no way we weren't gonna do it it yeah. was just a matter of who with the amount of slots that we could fill and things like that so i think we're just kind of like we're, we're dipping our toe in it with a few and even i mean that is at, at uh three vader technically so ah. we did we are re-releasing vader in a different form oh okay well so. I'm, I'm gonna have to pull in some costume experts to see <laughs> if if that is a legit revenge of the sith itty bitty vader They're or not really i mean you, you can tell from the the chest box here so <laughs> interesting, interesting. I, I, that's, how, how long did you spend in the Lucasfilm archives to get that one right? I spent a lot of time going through Lucasfilm stuff, actually. I have to say... You what know, I've been doing this for 12 years for really? Hallmark, for Star Wars, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I have spent a lot of time with Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I have to compliment you guys. Often when licensees dip into the prequels, uh -huh. they seem to avoid Padme for some reason. Yeah, but you've no, gone head first, why. Queen Amidala. Well, it's important it. for us also to just like represent all the female cast and the male cast, but also just that, that costume is amazing and mm. iconic from the film. And it is the itty bitties really do when you can find an iconic outfit or an iconic creature. That's when you really see that itty bitties look really awesome. You yeah. Because it's like if they're human, it's kind of hard unless they have a really um, really iconic costume. Uh, to translate when you're doing something that's small and kind of stylized. Yeah, and I do love, like, Darth Maul, which is, you know, was made to be a kid's worst nightmare. Yes. The way he squashes <laughs> down to an idiot, that's what I love about the line, are these things that are so, like, ugh, it's, and then I it's know, like... the villains are sometimes the cutest. Yes! <laughs> but then, when you've got Ewoks, they just go, like, triple They were meant for it. Now, you can call those teddy bears, because they kind of look like teddy bears. Mm. You know. What about an itty bitty pork? What's you know, it's been a very, very round and round conversation. To scale, we, little mini know, ones. We we do have a very specific um, form mm -hmm. and measurement for the itty bitties that some characters don't fit in. But I've been trying to push the pork. Maybe we're trying to figure out how to make it work. So maybe. All right, you're in the lab. We're in the lab with the porgs. Just cooking up porgs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're cooking them up. Playing teddy bear god. <laughs> Can a pork be a teddy bear? Now, uh, the... Now, I can tell you, you might oh, expect yeah. other type of things from us, not in the itty-bitty line that are porg-ish and plush-ish. Ooh. Coming maybe Halloween of next year. Halloween of next year? I know. This is how far out we work. Wow. We have to decide on Christmas and Halloween for, like, 18 months ahead. Guys, <laughs> that is an 18-month 
sizzle. That is a big <laughs> sizzle. Yeah. So you can, we can come back full circle and you'll figure out what it is. I can't tell you what it is. That's a little tiny, tiny teaser. And you're the uh, first person to even okay. hear that. Interesting. Interesting. Well, it's going to be a long 18 months, you guys. So <laughs> strap in. We, the, the countdown starts now. All right. It's 14 now, right? Wait, how, how far is October? Uh, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm having a child in three months and I'm trying to draw that out for about eight years. So well, uh, this would be perfect for, um, do you know, it's boy or girl? Boy. Okay. Either way. Either way. Porgs. Porgs go Tr either I, way. Trust me, I'm going to have a porg loving little boy. <laughs> You'll have a porg baby shower? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, call me. We'll send you some porg stuff. The other thing that I really love um, is the Yoda using the force. What is that? A yeah, bookend? It's a bookend. Yeah, yeah. That is uh, that is what I like to define as a good use of the license. Yes. Where you've where you've like used a scene in a very conceptual way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I try. We tried it when we we plan. We, that's what we think about. Mm -hmm. Is like how can you really have fun with the license in a unique way to make it conceptual and interesting so fans will really dig it because it's not like you sculpt it it's very simple yeah um, so it made it very affordable to do in flat but the concept's so strong it's just really cool to have I'd, I'd like to think whoever came up with that drove home that day very satisfied <laughs> they did <laughs> they're probably you? here <laughs> no no they came to me with the idea and I said yes ah <laughs> nice what about the the cardboard x-wing I really loved is there much plans for, for any other yeah. little vehicles um why yes, um, I I have been told I can mention this, and Ooh. I haven't told anybody else. So I'm doing it for you because I really, really, really like you. Nice. In um, four years, <laughs> they're gonna be no, no. No, this is actually um, spring of next year. Mm -hmm. Luke in another vehicle. I'll let you guess which vehicle that is. Okay. W will you confirm or deny if I get it right first shot? Yeah. Land speeder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I mean, there's only so many shots in that, in that respect. <laughs> can, can I make a suggestion? Yes, of course. What, ab what about uh, an Anakin in a Naboo fighter for the 20th I anniversary? I can't make it that fast now. <laughs> <laughs> 18 months. I'm going to miss the anniversary. Oh. All right. Um, but yeah, we've, we won't do a, a huge amount on the vehicle side. Mm -hmm. Um uh, we were delving in it also like DC Batmobile. So um, we don't have a huge amount of space to have that many vehicles, but we will do it from time to time when they're iconic. Um, we've tried another vehicle out that didn't work, but we're going to try to bring it back. I won't tell you what that is, but you can probably guess. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fit two two people in that yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're very good at hints. I have, yeah. to, I have to give you that. Um, thanks so much for your time. Of I, I just adore... The itty bitties, they're so fun. Yeah, they're so thank goofy. You. Thank you for being a fan. We love working on them. Just, it's something about the way it just is just such a fun representation of something that sometimes we take a little bit too seriously, you know? Yeah, so of course. I really like that. And the booth's always well manned, everyone's always super friendly. So it's good to see you again. It's good to see you. I appreciate nice. it. Nice. And how can the good people of the internet track down what's happening at Hallmark and uh, all the pop minded stuff? Well, we actually have popminded.com now, so oh, okay, you cool. can find all the stuff that we're uh, showing here at the convention and we're selling. So pretty much anything that Hallmark makes that's pop culture related is now on popminded.com too. So it might be more easily shoppable or searchable if that's all you want is pop culture. Um, we also have an Instagram account we like to have fun at, um, at popminded. Um, but, and then our stores have a sex, some stores carry a section of pop minded products. Now all these products are still in Hallmark stores too. Mm -hmm. And on Hallmark, if that's how people choose to shop. Um, but it just gives a different way for people that only want to shop pop culture, a way to shop. Nice. I sort of go on the site every three months and just pick everything and then <laughs> they turn up. It's fantastic. You just put Star Wars, Wars yes. teddy bears? Does anything come up? No, I, I, I have to like adjust my language to get with your corporate speak so uh <laughs> <laughs> but thanks so much for your time thanks so much it's good to see you cheers thank you yeah. hey you guys thanks for watching hit subscribe for more star wars videos coming from san diego comic con this week and may that force be with you